Hello everyone, today we are playing as the allies in the World War I scenario on AOC2. I am playing on the smaller map because I'm going to be playing as multiple countries and that's the only way to really make it kind of easy for me to do. So we're going to try to just play as these three major countries, the UK, France, and the British Raj. And those are going to be kind of the ones we mainly play as. So, let's jump into it as the United Kingdom. Obviously, we have a lot of choices, a lot of big choices. Cough, cough, the same choice we make every time. Income tax is just broken, guys. It's all you really need. Population growth, economy growth, just kind of split it up between those, and there you go. That's how you play the game. That is the meta of AOC2, for anybody who doesn't know. Um, and after that, let's just raise our taxes, lower these, because it's not important. Research will have a little bit of, and the rest is golden. I'm going to declare the war on turn 5. I think that seems like a pretty good turn to declare the war on. The troops are all mobilized for the most part. We should be ready to roll out. Alright, we're going to kick start it off with the Afghanistan war um, in the Middle East. So India is getting prepared. The British Raj is not taking any shit no more. The Russian Revolution is probably going to happen pretty soon since their stability is super low. And when that happens, we do need to probably support our Russian allies, so we're going to try to take over that for that reason. As for our other land here, I think we're probably ready to invade Germany, so that's probably the plan. I think France is going to kick it off, because France has the most troops prepared for this conflict. So, uh, yeah, France, you're going to be the one who kicks off the conflict. We're going to be calling in all of our allies, and they're going to bring in all their allies. So, let's just jump right into it and just start the Ultra War, um, where there will be no survivors, most likely. We're going to roll right into there. Probably build some troops in the mainland, maybe? Um, or maybe we should build it in Egypt, because Egypt is probably at risk of the, the highest attack since we're right on the border of the Ottoman Empire. So we're going to try to take over some of this land. And as for the rest of our people, let's just kind of roll them down here and take over some provinces. As for the British Raj, we're going to try to get the troops up here in Afghanistan and probably unite the land under some stability. And so far, things are going pretty good. We have taken the Holy Land, and we're also... Getting pushed back a little bit in Africa, though. We're going to hopefully try to push out the Germans here in Africa um, this turn and see how things can go for us. World War One is going pretty good so far, guys. We're fucking them up. Like, this is, <laughs> this is too easy. Really, all we got left is a couple of German hideouts in fucking Africa. And other than that, Germany is fucking done, guys. They're fucking finished. They got their one province out here, but that's really not going to do them a whole lot. Let's build a port here and um, go take that out also, eventually. Germany and Africa has been defeated. That's a good sign. As for the French troops, we're just going to be risky and roll them down south. And hopefully we can take out some of these provinces and help Russia out. The enemy has made it, though, into um, Serbia once again, so that is kind of worrying. And we're going to take over the one Oceania territory that Germany controls. The Austrians retook their capital for a short period, but nothing too crazy. Oh shit, and we do have this border here, apparently. I forgot all about that. The uh, British Raj is going to have to fight a little bit here against the Ottomans, so that might help us actually take them out a little bit quicker. The war is practically over at this point. All the major countries have lost their, their land in Europe. They're really, all they got left of these strongholds, which we could probably peace out for right now, but I want 100% war score. So we're going to wait a little bit. Prized and no civil war is broken out quite yet, but uh, it is only turn 20 and we have done this much. So we're doing pretty good for ourselves, I'd say. Peace negotiation time. What should we demand from these evil dictatorships that try to defeat us? I don't know. Something like this. This looks like a pretty cool little map, right? We're going to send those demands and hopefully the uh, the demands go through pretty good. So 
I'm going to accept these demands. And yeah, the demands have been accepted. So the new world borders essentially have a very weak Germany here in uh, Nambia. <laughs> I think Austria has just been completely fucking wiped from the map. There is no Austria anymore. There is no Ottoman anymore. Germany is really the only survivor of that age of World War I. And they're hiding here in Africa with a fairly weak colony. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's safe to say we've officially united the fucking planet under our dictatorships in Europe. And, you know, Winston Churchill and France, they're fucking blowing up right now. So, I think Russia might want to watch its back because they're probably the next one to get shot down. Um, in cold blood, I'm joking. But uh, yeah, I think this has been a pretty fun little video. World War One, as the Allies. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you all for the next video. Peace.